Hey guys, my name is Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I honestly wasn't really planning on picking up the camera, but I thought I would do a little like healthy night in my life and kind of show my night routine, kind of cooking dinner. Dalton and I want to do a little like wine at night. We are going to a friend's house for dinner tomorrow. My friend and I are both gluten and dairy free, so I wanna make like a gluten and dairy free dessert. So I just thought I would share a little glimpse into what my night looks like, kind of what I do on a daily routine, a little bit of fun stuff, and yes. So today has been pretty unproductive. I really haven't done much. I got a little bit of like job hunting stuff this morning. I am on the hunt for a new job now, so that's fun. I went and got my nails done. I just did a little baby blue color and then I went to Target. So how beautiful are these like clear green tinted jars? I actually thought they would look so cute above our fireplace because for like in November, I put up our tree and then like a little garland across our fireplace. But now that we took all of our Christmas stuff down, it looks so empty. So I want to put these on the fireplace and maybe put a little pompous grass in them and see how they look. But I picked these up. They were only like 20 bucks each and I thought they were so beautiful. So I'm going to put them on our fireplace and see how it looks. Okay, I actually think these look so cute next to our little mirror. This is kind of our fireplace set up and our living room has just been looking really empty because we had our tree there so I pretty much just put our blanket basket back there and then we had a garland here with our stockings so I think this actually looks so so cute I love the tint in them and then I'm even thinking that if we're not using them in a few months we'll take them to our wedding because kind of like the jar the clear jars with the tint and the pompous is kind of what we are going for her at our wedding in June, so I kind of think that I can like find another use for them. But in our living room, I also have like this little jar of pompous, so I don't know if it looks like too much. I don't think it does. Big pompous grass girl, if you can't tell. Also, unrelated to food and whatnot, but I got this sweatshirt from Mad Happy for myself for Christmas. It took forever to get here, but. It is so cozy. I got it like really oversized, but definitely another good purchase I've made lately. So before we kind of like start our night and make dinner and make our dessert and whatnot, I just want to get a few things done. I want to meal prep. I have not made chicken or like any kind of protein for my meals this entire week. I've kind of just been going to the grocery store or like picking up food from other places, which is a bad habit that I want to stop. I want to get back into that meal prep grind in 2021. And yes, so I'm going to meal prep some chicken. I've been baking my chicken instead of putting it on the stove and it's a lot less effort just because all you have to do is cut up your chicken and put it in the oven versus like stirring it on the stove every couple minutes so yes i'm going to bake some chicken so i just pulled my chicken out of the oven i pretty much just used the really big breasts from target and then i cut them up so they bake a little faster so i just put them in the oven for 400 degrees for around 30 minutes but what i put on them literally makes the difference Obviously chicken on its own is very boring, but if you really spice it up and put it in your meals, it actually becomes very enjoyable and very good and very satiating. So on this batch, I did just salt, pepper, and then I do curry powder, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and then I top it with nutritional yeast, which is kind of like a cheese alternative spice kind of thing. And then it kind of crusts on top and it is so good so i'm going to put this in the fridge for the rest of the week and then probably put it in my dinner so i didn't show you guys my dinner but i just had a chicken salad nothing too exciting i will do a little rollover clip of what i ate but now we are going to start baking our dessert for tomorrow actually and we're doing a gluten-free dairy-free strawberry shortcake I'm just waiting for my Whole Foods order to get here because for the filling, we're gonna do like a dairy-free dairy free whipped cream with strawberries and coconut sugar. So I'm waiting for some ingredients to get here. But while we are baking, Dalton picked us up some wine because 
balance. This is blueberry wine. I've never heard of it. So I'm very excited to try this. Also, Nala got a haircut. <laughs> Look at how cute she is. Do you like sniffing the camera? <laughs> So sadly we can't taste test it because we're taking it to our friend's house for dinner tomorrow but pretty much we put the cake in the oven took it out put it in the fridge let it cool and then we topped it with just some coconut whipped cream that's from whole foods and then strawberries tossed in coconut sugar and it looks so good and i hope it's good tomorrow so i'm just gonna pop this in the fridge and then probably start getting ready for bed for the night it is a lot later now and I thought I would kind of show my skincare routine because I'm going through quite the skin journey. <laughs> I never had acne as a teenager growing up or anything and then it was kind of after I was diagnosed with PCOS that I started getting very bad hormonal acne. So I started actually a few months ago, I started microneedling and that has actually been helping a lot with the scarring that I've kind of built up on my cheeks, on my chin, but obviously it has not gone away yet. So I will be doing like five-ish microneedling sessions until kind of like my scarring really clears. I will show you guys kind of the skincare products that I use kind of to maintain it between microneedling sessions and keep my skin as clear as it is. The number one thing that I have learned from my esthetician doctors is that less really can equal more. I've already washed my hands and I pretty much just go in first with the oil-free acne wash from Neutrogena and the thing that really helps me with this is it has the salicylic acid and that really helps with acne. So go in with this first. So your skin will be very dry afterwards, a little dry and red, but with this moisturizer, this was just a sample I got at Ulta and I'm almost out of it so I think I'm gonna get the full size of it but it's the Tatcha water cream so I switch off between this one and my moisturizer that has SPF in it I usually use that at the beginning of the day but this is literally almost gone so I'm gonna use the rest of this but super moisturizing and it doesn't break me out that feels so good after you put it on but after you are already looking like a grease ball <laughs> I use the Peter Thomas Roth Night Serum and the main thing in this is retinol and vitamin C so I mainly just put this on at night where my scarring is very bad. Um, my scarring is pretty bad right now um, on my cheeks and on my chin so I kind of just rub it together in my hands and dab where my scarring is bad. <laughs> And then I will not show this because I will look crazy after I put all this on, but every night where I kind of have active acne or whiteheads or anything, Mario Badescu drying lotion. So I pretty much just take a Q-tip and dab it on my active acne and actually by the morning it'll be a lot better. It'll dry it up. May not like heal it, heal it, but it makes it a little better by the morning. At least like the active bump isn't there anymore. This is definitely a good and affordable spot treatment option. And lastly, because my lips are so chapped, I just sleep with a lip oil on. This one's just from Burt's Bees. And I literally, <laughs> I put it on in the middle of the night too because I wake up with my lips so chapped, so but I am just going to put my spot treatment on and then head to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this little night in my life. I hope you guys 
enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe for more videos and follow me on instagram for more daily health and wellness content i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day week whatever it is and i will see you guys in my next video bye